after. Well, as you're heading out, maybe you're running your last minute errands. Today might be the day to get that car washed because the lines were super long over the weekend. Well, it's going to be mild out there. We're in the 40s now. This afternoon, we're headed for highs into the low 50s. The clouds are going to be moving through the area, so we will see some more sunshine by mid afternoon. And notice how mild it stays this evening, staying in the 40s through 7 o'clock, which is warmer than typical highs this time of year. Plus, it will be dry, so it should be a good evening for the jolly holiday lights. What's going on with the wind across southern Iowa is coming in from the southwest up to the north is coming in from the north. Well, we've got a weak boundary right across central Iowa. Not a whole bunch of wind out there, but it's dividing the two kind of temperatures we've got going on. We've got the cooler 30s to the north, and then we've got the warmest air trapped to the south. Upper 40s, already 50 degrees in Creston. It is going to feel warm this afternoon for you guys. We do have that veil of high clouds, though, moving right across the state. No precip with these clouds, nothing on the roads to slow you down. No fog, no rain, no snow, and you can already see the higher clouds will be drifting out to the east, allowing a little bit more sunshine in here this afternoon. If you are doing some traveling, the Midwest is the quietest spot in the nation. We've got a couple trouble spots, one to the southeast. It's really not moving a whole bunch, so more rain for Florida, even up through the Carolinas, and then out to the west. Rain continues for Los Angeles through Vegas, eventually turning into snow as you head up toward Montana, and then even into parts of Colorado, they'll eventually see some snow. The live airport status is showing everything is looking really pretty good, but do watch out for some delays across the Carolinas and also out to the west in San Francisco. Their stall still probably be a little bit delayed. For us, fog is going to be one of our concerns for travel. A little bit of light fog is possible later on this evening. Visibility is not too bad until tomorrow morning. By 7 a.m., there's a chance for some locally dense fog, mainly north and northwest of the metro area. It does lift a little bit up to the north through Tuesday, but lingers up across northern Iowa, even into Wednesday. Tuesday night and Wednesday, we might even need a, a Rudolph's nose there to help guide the sleigh because of the foggy weather. Could even result in a little drizzle in northern Iowa by Christmas Day. Right now, though, we've just got some high clouds, and you can see a little touch there of some light fog along the horizon. It's relatively mild, though, 44 here in Des Moines. A light southwest wind is making it feel just a touch cooler, so still jacket weather. A typical high is supposed to be around 32. Not today. We're headed to near 20 degrees warmer than that almost. Tuesday and Wednesday still very comfortable, starting out above freezing, ending up in the 50s approaching 60 in a few spots. A cool down is coming at the end of the week. Though Thursday and Friday highs will be sliding back into the 40s and then over the weekend that weather bears watching. So if you're delaying your travel until the end of the end of the week or into the weekend, we'll have some rain switching over yeah. to a little bit of snow. Until then, it looks great. Well, yeah, plan accordingly. And if you're heading out, if you're going out right now, it's yes, great. It great really weather is. to do it.